Hello everybody, this is Austin from the Robotus Customer Support Team. In today's video, we're going to be covering how to uh, perform a firmware recovery on a Dynamixel with the U2-D2. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and plug our Dynamixel into the U2-D2 and provide power to the Dynamixel and uh, plug in the U2-D2 to our computer. The software today we're going to be using is Dynamixel Wizard 2.0. So the thing we're going to do is go um, select uh, for, uh, the recovery option in Dynamixel. And you can see right here on the menu, uh, it's just listing the things to do. So keep your Dynamixel plugged in. Make sure you only have one Dynamixel connected. And make sure you are selecting the right model. So for today's model, we are going with the XL430. and select the version of firmware you would like. And make sure you have the correct COM port selected. So the next step you have to do is make sure your Dynamixel is off. If it is on, you need to turn it off and turn it back on again, and that will send the bootloader to Dynamo, or that will allow Dynamixel Wizard to see the bootloader. And that's how you perform a firmware recovery with the Dynamixel using a U2-D2.